Okay, so I've actually had a couple people ask um, how my triggers work. And I use basically the same trigger on all of my double doors. So I got um, I got that new squirrel trap. I got my old rat trap. And I got my, um, my little uh, small predator traps here. All double doors. And I figured I'd show you this trigger because with a little bit of modification, it works pretty good. So first, let's just look at this one. If my dog get out the way. This is the one I built last night. This is a um, 7x10 Washington trap, uh, wire triggered. And it's a powered door. You know, doors can work independently, yada, yada, yada. And the way the trigger works, it's super simple, is the main part of it is you have this bar, okay? You have a bar that runs the length of the trap. And on either end of it, so we get up here a little more. Either end of it, you have a 90, okay? That's a 90, and that's a 90. Those two 90s go under the door. And in the middle, what you have is a 90 that comes out with a conda bear trigger on it. And since this trap is framed out of quarter inch rod, I had to use a 220 trigger, 220 conda bear trigger. And it's set here. So it can pivot. That nut is just there to keep this uh, trigger from coming off. That nut can, you know, and it can pivot right there. You don't weld that trigger on. You slip it on the rod and you weld a stop. Okay. Then you have a conibear trigger right here. Okay. You have to bend your conibear trigger out a little bit because of the way it sits. But how it works is all these rods are in line. Okay. The 90s are in line. So that 90s in line, that 90s in line, that 90s in line. If you take that rod out and lay it on the table, all of it is going to sit completely flat. Okay? Then you have it. You have your rod pivoting off the sides. I just haul green it on. There's better ways, but haul, haul green works. And when you lift your doors, when you lift your doors, it just, uh, those 90s should sit under your doors. And then you put your uh, trigger on. Usually I have to take a um, piece of quarter inch rod, stick under one door as a safety, and then set the other door. And uh, it's, it's pretty easy though. And then you um, put on your conda bear trigger. When the trigger's tripped, it works just like a conda bear. When your trigger is pushed, it uh, knocks the uh, trigger mechanism out, which lets these two 90s drop, which lets your door drop. So I'm just going to do it outside the cage here. See? And that same principle works with just about every trap. If you can work it a little bit. This same one, but this is a treadle trap. Again, double door, same general deal. But that 90 is not in line, okay? But it's still, I bent it so it still keeps the doors up, but it's pressed against this pan right there. That little pan thing. So when that pan is moved, it lets that, when the pan's moved, it lets um, that 90 go forward, which lets these two drop. And these two are, let me see if I can get it in here. You know, those are hooks instead of just going under the door. If you can see that. There's a hook to the door that slips over that 90. That's more of a 120. There's another 90. So, that one gets triggered. Unless the doors come down. Okay. And here we are on the big trap. Exact same thing as this one. Instead, I have a tab that comes out from under the door. So, since I don't have a door that comes in, I just have to make something that um, would hold the door up. So, I just welded a tab. We have nuts. We have nuts that that uh, rod rides in. And again, we have that 90... Goes all the way through. Another 90 to a conibear trigger. All the way through. Then we have a 90 to our next tab. And trigger cage is tripped. 
there you go. So yeah, I have, ever since I posted that little video, I've had some questions about um, how these triggers work. So I figured I'd make that real quick, and I hope this uh hope this helps y'all out. This is not from everything I understand. This is not a patented trigger. This is something the guys in Washington has have been using for decades now. Everybody, it's just a thing everybody up there uses. So um, yeah. It's not, I'm not stealing somebody's stuff. Everybody up there that makes their own stuff. So, um, yeah, don't, please, please don't try and tell me I'm just stealing somebody's stuff or something or rebranding it because I'm not. So, uh, yeah, hope that helps.